everybody. My name is Katrina. I am one of the adult services librarians at CIDL. Today I'm going to show you how to access Zoom, which is a video conferencing software that allows you to meet remotely. Um, this is going to be for the computer. So if you have a Zoom link, all you need to do is open it up. These can be um, pasted in a social media event on Facebook. It can be sent in an email, so mine's in an email. All you need to do is click the link. It says join Zoom meeting. It will open up to Zoom. You need to download the software that lets you have the video conference available. So you press um, save file or install. I'm using Firefox, so this is how it will look for Firefox. After it downloads, you need to run the software. So all you do is open it, press run. You can see it's installing the client, which is what lets you connect to the meeting. It can take a few minutes sometimes, just depends on how fast your internet is. See, it's thinking, it's gonna open it up. So um, once the software is installed, it's gonna prompt you to enter your display name. Um, this is the name that other people are going to be able to see when you are in the, the meeting with them. You enter your name, press join meeting. It will give you a preview. Um, if you want to join with video, this means your webcam will be turned on if you have one. People can see your face. You can choose to join without video um, to hide, hide your webcam. I'm gonna join without video. You can change it later if you need to. And then you have the option to do computer audio or a phone call. Um, joining with computer audio is helpful if you have speakers and a microphone, like on a laptop. Um, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna join computer audio. You have the option to dial in as well. Um, this is what it's going to look like. So um, if the host was showing a screen, you would see it here. Um, at the bottom, you have different video options. You can see I can mute myself. If you, if you, un if you mute yourself, it'll have a line through it. Turn it off so no one can hear me. Um, you can press it again to unmute yourself. Um, you can see my video is turned off right now, too. If I press that, it will also turn it on. You can see participants. Um, you can chat with other people. It's pretty straightforward. Once your meeting's done, you have the option to leave. All you do is click it and it ends your session. That's all there is to it. If you guys have any questions, you're more than welcome to go to our homepage, cidlibrary.org, and chat or call a librarian to get help setting it up. Otherwise, have a nice day.